Today we're going to learn how to track and replace the screen in your video using Final Cut Pro and Motion. First thing we need to do is export our clip from Final Cut Pro and import it into Motion. Unfortunately, there's no easy way of doing this. What you need to do is switch to the Range tool and click and drag out a range of your entire clip. Hit the share button in the top right corner and export this range as a master file. Open up Motion and in the bottom right, click the Import as Project button. Doing it this way automatically matches the length, frame rate and the resolution of your project to your clip. Navigate to your exported clip and click Import as Project. Next, we need a placeholder for a screen replacement clip. You could just use a clip you want to replace your screen with, but in this example, we'll use a drop zone so when you're back in Final Cut Pro, you can easily switch it out. Click the Import button and select the dummy clip for this. Now, it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be a video clip or a still image. With your dummy clip selected, at the top of the Motion window, open up the Behaviors drop-down menu, select Motion Tracking and Match Move. Select the Inspector window, change your tracking mode to Point Tracking, and select four corner tracking. In the viewer window, grab the top left point and drag it to the corner of your screen. Use the tracking preview and inspector for more precision. Repeat these steps for the other three corners. Click the analyze button to track your clip. Next, we need to convert a dummy clip to a drop zone. Make sure your dummy clip is selected. Go back to the inspector window and select the image tab. From the type drop down menu, select drop zone. Click the down arrow on the far right of each of the parameters and select publish. This will allow us to adjust all these parameters in Final Cut Pro. Now, to publish this to Final Cut Pro, we need to convert this motion project to a generator. Select the project level in the layers window, go up to the menu bar and click file, convert project to and select generator. To publish this to Final Cut Pro, go back to the File menu and select Save As. Give it a name, choose a category to save it in, and click Publish. Go back to Final Cut Pro. Open your Titles and Generators browser, navigate to the category you saved your generator in, and select your tracked clip. Use this clip to replace your original clip. Now, here's the best part. Publishing the clip tracked inside the screen as a drop zone allows you to easily replace it. Select a generator clip in your timeline, go to the Generators Inspector, and click the Drop Zone button to select it. Back in your media browser, select the clip you want to place inside your screen, and click Apply Clip. Use the parameters you published earlier to adjust the framing of your clip. Let Final Cut Pro render it out, and you have a perfectly tracked screen replacement. If you enjoy these free tutorial videos, a great way to support this channel is by using YouTube's new Super Thanks feature. Any money you donate will be reinvested into the channel helping me make better tutorials to help you make better videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week.